we have got to continue to have these conversations about decentering men and not making your marital status and your children the center of your universe because relationships can and do end and you do not want to get in a situation where you completely fall apart. This next story might be triggering for some people. Please um, t scroll by if stillbirths, miscarriages, anything like that is triggering because this is a challenging story. This story is kind of long. This woman always dreamt of being a mom and a wife. As soon as she got married, they started trying to have a kid. Um, they were having fertility issues. And after the second miscarriage, she found out that the husband was cheating. He apologized, begged, cried, said if he took him back, they could get really serious about having a baby. He was manipulating her. And he told her to stop working so she could focus on her pregnancy. And this woman was probably all in her feelings because maybe she was blaming herself for losing the babies. So she started trying to do everything right, doing the right diet, um, resting, whatever. She's following the doctor's order. Okay, so then she goes into labor and she is completely happy. She's over the moon. Okay, she doesn't want to go into the details, but her son was born stillborn. When he came out, he wasn't crying, and my husband let go of my hand and left the room. He made me completely dependent on him, alienated me from my friends, co-workers, and made sure I wasn't working so I wouldn't be able to support myself, have any dependence or a backup plan but him, and he left. One of the nurses was so upset for me that she stayed the entire time with me. I, I just thought that he needed some fresh air or something, but he didn't come back. We didn't have anyone to come to the hospital with us. I had to deal with all of the after by myself. The remains. The hospital got a hold of him when I was being discharged and he told them that he wasn't coming and to tell me I wasn't able to go home with him because he wasn't there. Who says that? Who does it? His mom finally responded and told me he was filing for divorce. Our bank account was frozen until court and that I needed to give him space. She said she said that to me, the woman who just went through a traumatic birth, birth. I don't have family. After the abuse my mom put me through, I went no contact at 18. The hospital got me a caseworker who put me in a motel for two weeks. I checked in with $100, my hospital bag, and an empty infant car seat. So this woman who put all of her trust into a man and being a mom had the rug pulled from her and she had no other outlets because she alienated everybody else. She quit her job. She had no plan B. And then once she wasn't able to fulfill that role that he wanted to see her in and that she wanted to be and he pulled the rug from under her. This is the reason why you cannot let being married be your personality. And this is the reason why you have to decenter men. The final piece of this Reddit thread. Some people get a little irritated with me because I don't have any kind of feelings of, oh my gosh, he's crying and I don't have any empathy or sympathy for males who have lost their family due to the consequences of their action. My field of Fs is barren, as you can see. This is how I feel about the people that have lost everything due to how they treated their wives, girlfriends, significant others, whatever, and their children. I have nothing. I have no emotion. I am apathetic. And the reason being is because I have seen what happens to the women when they're in the middle of it after the man leaves. So once a man gets a modicum of sense and they feel like they are lonely and no one's here to care for them in their old age, I feel nothing. This comment was under the post regarding the man who left a woman who just had a stillborn. You can read what this person wishes for them. And above it, this woman says, I can smell the emotional incest here. He and his mother deserve each other. Recognize that some people get exactly what they deserve. Some people have not grown their relationships. They haven't cultivated. They haven't shown any tenderness and love in the relationships. And what they get is a barren field where it comes to their relationships. This is why I am not moved by the emotional outbursts and the tears of men who have lost their families and have no relationships. So people can see the pain and suffering of a woman who has been abandoned. Like this woman says, reading this was so heartbreaking, but honestly, I feel like she dodged a, a bullet by not being stuck with him forever. So she understands that this is a good thing. Most people do. 
This, this man says, oh God, he cheated, then allowed his wife to stop working, rendering her dependent. That man knew what he was doing. How despicable. So we know what women go through. We, we can feel the compassion at someone being left. We can see that this person is the, the male in this situation was not a good person. So we can see all that. But then for someone like me, I can continue with two, three decades later and see, well, now he is still fe feeling the consequences of his action. And some kind of way, I become the bad guy by saying he's facing the consequences of his action and I feel nothing. I believe that we should not get in the way of people feeling the consequences of their action. I do not believe in getting in the way of people's consequences. Let them feel it and then let others see these people feel it. That's where I stand. Y'all can jump in the comments and tell me if you feel the same. Okay, I've shown you a video of what happens when a woman um, put everything into being a wife and mom. Now I'm going to show you a video that I was tagged in where a woman was just so about her relationship with this man. And then he pulled the rug completely out from under her. Watch this video. So I post all my wins in life. I post about how much I love my life. I live in Florida. I live the dream. We're moving to our dream apartment in a week, right? Well, and I love my part-time job. I am in love with the man I'm going to marry, who means the world to me. And we have got a great relationship. We argued a little bit. We had a rough patch, but we started going to therapy. We go to church together. We're working through it. And we found a lease takeover for our current place in Boca Raton. And it worked out perfectly. This really absolute sweetheart from our church. And we found our dream apartment. And we were supposed to move in on Saturday. Our lease is up here on Friday. And I got home yesterday, Sunday, less than a week to all of this. And the man that I love, when I came home from training last night, was standing in our living room. I look around, all of our furniture is gone. He'd been using my Facebook marketplace to sell our furniture. All of our furniture is gone. And he's standing there with our dog on his leash. And it, it was his dog. But you guys see my post, like that dog's my baby. It's like the no dog has ever came on and loved me like that dog has. He's like my child. And he said, I said, where's our furniture? And I'm thinking it like, oh my gosh, somebody bought the couch. We were waiting for someone to buy the couch. I didn't know someone did yet. And he just looked at me and says, I'm sorry. And I'm, I, usually that's how he says, goes for a joke. He's like, he'll start with like, I'm sorry, before he makes a joke. So I'm smiling, big old smile, Publix bags in my hand. I'm like, what's up? What'd you do? And he says, the engagement's over. Have you been engaged? Today is actually our two years since we met. And we're going on our one year since we got engaged. We're supposed to get married in Paris next year. We've been planning this. We just went on a trip together last week. And he says the engagement's over. And I'm flabbergasted. I've been at training all day. And I'm looking around. Every single bit of furniture is gone. This man didn't even leave me a pillow to lay my head on. So he left. And he tried to take the ring back. But I said, no, no. Um, we'll figure this out. But you're the one breaking off the engagement. We'll figure this out. Please don't take my ring. He custom made it for me. And he left in a U-Haul and wrote me a two-page letter that was one paragraph saying that we're not sustainable long-term. And the rest of it was career advice, all classic Todd advice, as he called it, telling me to be strong. And he left me the valuation for the ring if I want to buy it from him. We had one conversation on the phone last night, and I said, you didn't leave me anywhere to sleep. If I don't have a home right now because I can't move into the place by myself. I'm literally like homeless at this point. And he says, I left you somewhere to sleep. I left you your rug. This man has been kind to me. He's loved me. And I am in shock. I'm making it work. Everything happens for a reason. I'm faithful, trustful. I believe everything is going to work out. <laughs>
she had no vaccine for this. She wasn't prepared for this at all because she had him in the center of her universe. So once he pulled out, she had to completely regroup. Thankfully, she went on to say that she has a full time job and a part time job. And she had um, friends and perfect strangers that were helping her get back on her feet. So she and she has no kids. So that was a good thing for her. She didn't have to regroup completely. But I am just posting this because I want us to understand that making a relationship, a marital status, your even your kids, your job, anything, the center of your universe, more so than being a part of your life, creates an imbalance that is not healthy. You have got to put things in their proper perspective. Things need healthy balance. So hopefully we're going to continue to have these conversations. Women continue to see balance. Having relationships is not a bad thing. Having relationships that revolve around somebody else is not good for you. You should not be making someone else the main character in your story. Hopefully you guys, um, you know, bring some your you're feeling something, you're, something is going off in your head, a light bulb is turning on, um, and share these stories with other people, share them with the younger generation. We have got to deprogram our community, society, culture, that men, having a man is not the ultimate goal. Having a healthy relationship that is in a balanced life should be the goal. If you even want a relationship, but regardless, all of your relationships should be in some kind of healthy equilibrium. Jump in the comments. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, share.